crazy place Everyone's just another face Unless we really dare to care Every day is just filling space Unless we find some place to make a difference And not just stop and stare Someone needs me today I won't be afraid I guess joining the society uh, back in the 60s, late 60s, uh, the Our Lady of Charity Conference was formed in Atlanta, and it was formed by people from uh, um, Vincentian from Christ the King. They help. Uh, they realized there was a need for some communication with the newly arrived immigrants, mostly from Cuba, coming to Atlanta, and they uh, kind of worked with a group of. Uh, Cuban immigrants at the time, and uh, they established a, uh, the conference downtown. In his Irish way, he said <laughs> that I should come down to the office when I got settled in the spring, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that he would find a few things for me to do, because he really didn't understand what, what my time would be taken up with in suburbia, in a one-bedroom apartment. And so the next spring, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> I went ahead. And he had me doing all manner of little special projects. I'd come down there once a week or so and spend the day. I'm 86 years old, so Virginia and I go back to the Depression days. I'm a cradle Catholic, born in Atlanta. And so therefore, I remember the time when there were very, very few Catholics in it in Atlanta, and so I, after the, I came back from the war, Virginia and I married, and we moved to Hateful, and uh, there were still at that time only four parishes. We had gotten uh, Christ the King in '36. But before that, there were only three. I joined smokers. the society. I don't even remember it being a society. We had a St. Vincent conference in Hateful before St. John's was ever became a parish. It was 1951. No, they invited me to be a member of it, and I said, "No, heck, no! I don't have. I don't want to be part of that. I mean, just leave me alone." And about uh, a few years later, um, I guess George Gunning uh, with Christ the King and another couple of people from Christ the King asked me if I could join the Christ the King conference. So finally in 71, I said, okay, I'll join the society. And uh, the, then the people of our later church said, what do you do that? How come you didn't join us? So about maybe uh, in the, uh, about eight or 10 years later, I joined also the uh, later charity conference. So now being a member of both conferences, uh, you might ask the presidents, uh, do you attend all the meetings? No, I do not attend all the meetings, but I'm a member. I would be of, able to visit families and go out, and that's what he wanted someone to be able to do. Mm -hmm. Because they had a, a program there, it was a, a Head Start program started, and they wanted to have a chance to go visit the families as well as mm -hmm. the children. And, and so that's what I did for a while, and then after I had my baby, he said, don't worry if you can't come in town. St. Jude's has a ladies' auxiliary. And but you can visit. Jenny and I lived there for four years. And then we moved to St. Thomas More. And I remember we and another man named Larry Labonte, he and I started St. Vincent there. And uh, back in those days, we would use a coupon booklet. Like a coupon, like a check, mm -hmm. and we would go see the families. The most that we could give them was twenty-five dollars. But we would write that. My new parish um, was for men only. I found out. 
<laughs> I was very disappointed. When Transfiguration Parish um, opened, we lived one mile from that church and were thrilled to death to have a new parish. And within a year, the pastor, Ray Haran, invited who sh whoever would like to uh, start a conference to come to a meeting. And I was wondering whether that would include even women. Mm -hmm. So I went to the meeting and a number of people, men and women, and nothing was ever said. And ever since then, uh, it's just been a part of my life. The best thing that ever happened in the state of Georgia for St. Vincent was that God sent oh. leaders where today we have only one conference. All conferences operate as one conference. And so that, that has brought a tremendous growth, recognition, and that's why you see the figures that you see in your, your portfolio is because St. Vincent will operate as one. I remember that there were one. very few conferences at the time. I think mm -hmm. uh, actually most of the conferences were that District 4, in-town district, uh, maybe seven or eight conferences. Uh, in that area, and uh, I think you have a little bit of, well, of course, IHM and some of the other ones, uh, the Holy, uh, uh, well, a few conferences were around at the time, and you see from that little nucleus of conferences now, I think we got 70 conferences mm -hmm. throughout the, uh, the whole diocese, it's not just Atlanta, it goes all the way to Dalton, and it goes all the way throughout North Georgia, and it's amazing, the growth, uh, because the needs are there, and we were very limited on what we can do, outside the metro Atlanta, and even the metro was very small metro, mm -hmm. but that was, uh, so I've seen that as a large uh, improvement of services to the community, and the fact that um, we have created these districts, I think they're more in tune with what is happening with the, uh, you, you have groups of people that meet regularly and still have a, uh, a large body of uh, members that uh, some maybe were even disconnected with the central office and so forth. So I think we have grown quite a bit from the beginnings, which is great. I've seen a slow, beautiful progression of the diversity of the members, both in age and in um, their expertise. And we've been able to uh, create new programs here in our, in our, you know, council throughout the metro. And, it, you know, we just want to include the people who are poor into the, the mainstream of our society. We really do because they still are somewhere in a hidden place most of the time. And their needs are not on but anyone's But really the needs of everybody. And they ask me, oh, how come you're, well, helping this individual? I have nothing to do with the Catholic. He's not a member. I have nothing to do with it. The need is there. I guess Jesus didn't ask anybody, was he a Jew or a Samaritan or what? I mean, he just helped whoever was around there that needed help. So I think that's important uh, to really emphasize that the society is open to everybody and we accept and help everybody. And that's important when you to work on a case, emphasize. You go home and you get on your knees and say, thank God for and the many blessings. Just person. really find out what wonderful people are out there. And um, it enriches your life. You find Jesus everywhere. Troubles come and my heart burdened be, then I am still and wait here in the silence until you come and sit a while with me. You raise me. Stand on my